Right, so today we're going to work on making our tool pass for the Giga Drive defragulator flange. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Let's see if you can say that three times. Anyway, so we've got it lo loaded in here, and I'm noticing one thing. I need to come in here and I need to make my active units inches because I typically work in metric, so it's in millimeters right now. So we'll change that. And the other thing is, you'll notice I'm in the manufacturer's workspace instead of the design. So our tool, our objects up here look a little different. So let's go to our manufacturer tab. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to make a new setup. We're going to come in here and we'll make sure it's a milling operation. And we don't, don't need to worry about the work coordinate system. Well, yes, we do need to work. The work coordinate system, we're going to click on the select z-axis plane and x-axis. So we're going to click on that and we're going to click, click this front left corner. If we did that right, let's see. Z-axis, edge, okay. Then we're going to click our origin. We're going to click box point. We're going to click here. If we did everything right, our X should be pointing to the right, our Y should be pointing kind of to the left and back, and our Z should be pointing straight up. There we go, that's that's right. So then we're going to go to the stock tab. Mode is relative, that's fine, but we want to we want no additional stock in this. So there's no additional, it's not gonna we're cutting this from the same size stock as the final product is going to be. So we're going to click OK. We've got our setup. Then we're going to go, we're going to rename that. Let's name that. Let's go um, drilling holes. Because we're going to drill these three holes right here. Now to do that, we need to select a tool path, a tool strategy. So we're going to click a 2D pocket. Now I'm not going to go through all of these on here, but if you hold if you hold the mouse over, it will explain what they are. So we're going to go 2D pocket. Now we need to select our tool. We're going. I made a special tool library just for this, with one tool in it, an eighth inch flat end mill. I will put up a picture so you can see the settings that I used. Click OK. Notice that the coolant is disabled. Huh, you know what, I'm not liking this. Let's go back, we're gonna delete this because I must have done something different because notice that my orientation moved down to the bottom. So let's see, we're in inches still. We're gonna go setup, new setup. We're going to, we don't need to select the machine. We're going into our work coordinate system. We're going to go to model orientation. We're going to select the z-axis slash plane and x-axis. We're going to click on that front corner. And then we're going to go to the box point. Notice all those bump, those dots showed up. We're going to click the one on the top left. If we did it right this time, our x is pointing to the right. Our y is pointing, that's basically the back. And our z is pointing straight up. Uh, stock, we need to go in here into the stock offset mode and we're going to change that to no additional stock. Post processing, we can make that, let's call it drilling holes because we're going to be drilling the holes and say okay. Now, good, does it stay there? Yay, so we're going to rename this drilling holes. Now, for this operation, we're going to Get a 2D strategy. We're going to go to 2Ds, 3Ds. You know, you see there's a little bit here. We're going to go to 2D strategy. We're going to go to 2D pocket. You can, if you hold, hover over the other ones, it will show you what they are. Now we're going to select our tool. I made a tool library specifically for this. So we have only one tool. It's an eighth inch flat end mill. Say OK. Then it, you notice it disables a coolant. We can go on to the next tab, the geometry. Select pocket. So pocket selections, right now nothing is selected. So we need to select where we want to mail this out. So we're going to click on, notice they, 
notice the circles highlight when you roll over them. We're going to select all three of the circles at the bottoms of the holes. Then we're going to go on to our Heights tab. All of this should be fine, and if you're not sure, it'll tell you what it is. Like our clearance is 0.6 inches, that's pretty good. Our retract is 0.2 inches. Our feed is 0.2 inches. And let's see, so retract and feed are on the same thing. And our top is right there. Well, we don't have our bottom height select, uh, selected yet. So we can, let's see if selecting uh, not model bottom, not stock bottom. We're going to go to selection. Uh, we'll roll this over a little bit, and we're going to hover until we get one of those selected. And you'll notice now it says bottom is negative point one two five, which is good. That's an eighth of an inch. So that's correct. We go on to our next tab, which is passes. Let's take off the stock to leave. We're going to we are going to select multiple depths because we don't want to do this in one. We probably could. It's wren shape. It's not like we're going through steel, but we're going to pretend it, that it's a tough material. We're going to use even step downs. And that's all we have to do on that tab. We're going to go to linking. We don't need to do anything here. We're going to click OK. And if we did it right, you should notice that it's made us some tool paths here. Awesome. So we're going to go to actions. We're going to go to simulate and we're going to run this. And you'll see it's helixing in there. Now I'm going to make my tool transparent. And while it's doing that, we can actually even click on these tabs. It's going to tell us our machining time, which is really important because you want to make sure that you're not going to do something that's going to take thir you know, five seconds. You may be going too fast or five hours. You may be going way too slow. So this just kind of gives you some feedback. So that looks good. We're going to click OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make another setup. And we're going to call, we're going to do this. Let's see. Model coordinate system. We're going to do the same thing. Select ZX. We're going to select that Z axis. We're going to click the point. We're going to click that one. And we're going to go to stock, and we're going to remember to take no additional stock. And post process, we're going to call this one big box, big hole. Because we're going to make a big hole, right? So this is the big hole. And we're going to do the same thing as we did before. This is another 2D adapt uh, pocket. We're going to select our tool. Okay, you notice we've already had it there. It's kind of a default. We're gonna go to geometry. We're gonna we're gonna click on the bottom of this, and we're gonna go to the heights. Again, it didn't give us our bottom height, so we're going to go to Selection, select the bottom. Now this one is negative 0.375, so that's what? 3 eighths. So we're going to go to Passes. This one, again, no stock to leave. Definitely want multiple step downs, and we're going to select Use Even Step Downs. And no stock to leave, smoothing, don't worry about those, and say OK. Now, you see it's got a lot more tool paths here, so let's try this. Let's go simulate and play. Now, it's going to take a little while. If we want to go fast, we can just drag this over to the right. There's a dot, and it makes it go faster. Their progress down here. But let's look and see what the stats are. That says it's going to be 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Not bad. We can live with that. And it'll give us a nice even part.
and we click close. Now, I didn't do this one around here because in testing it, there's a little bit of an issue with it's an eighth of an inch, but I need to figure out why it's only cutting the one side and then the corners. I think it might, I need to tweak some of the settings and we'll figure that one out. If you guys want to play around with it, if you can get it to cut it out, uh, share it with everybody. Now the bottom side, we're going to do this in a second video. So that should be it for today. Make sure you get at least your two tool paths. You should have two setups, two tool paths, and um, that's it. You're done.